Is your soil lacking in certain nutrients that's causing your plants just not to grow as well as they should? The only way to find out for sure is to do a soil test. And today I'm going to show you just how simple it is. We're going to take the mystery out of it. Now there are 17 different nutrients that have been identified as essential for a plant's growth and they're divided into macronutrients. There's three of those which are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and then there are micronutrients like sulfur and boron and manganese etc. This test is only for the macronutrients and it also tests for pH and the reason that pH is important is because certain minerals just do not get absorbed if the soil is not at the right pH. Now the way that you do the tests are all very similar. There are four test tubes, one for each of the types of tests. And there are these tablets. Fill this up with water. You insert one of the tablets. You put some soil in there and then you shake it. Let it sit for a while and then the color will change and you match it to the colors. So you want to use distilled water if at all possible because you do not want the water to contaminate your results. This is what it looks like. Now let's match it to the color chart. So I've got relatively neutral pH soil. We have the results of our soil test. Let's take a look. The pH is on the neutral side. It's about 7.0. Nitrogen extremely low. Phosphorus is extremely dark blue, which means that I've got a really high phosphorus level in my soil. The potassium is also on the high side. So these results are not surprising at all and this is why you need to do a soil test. For me, the only thing lacking in my soil practically is nitrogen, which is very common in the Bay Area. The other two nutrients, potassium and phosphorus, I do not need to add. They are already high. And if you keep adding fertilizer, particularly inorganic fertilizer that contains high amounts of nutrients that your soil doesn't need, you are eventually going to poison your soil and hence your plants and also cause runoff. So do a soil test. It's easier than you think.